Detectives, take a look at this. We were able to trace the car used back to Rodney K. Fowler. And? Did you check the name on the front office? Pay Mr. Fowler a visit. to know. This is Detective O'Brien. I'm Detective Vargas. Can you guys make this quick? I gotta go get the showers. Yeah. Where do you keep your fee card at night? In my office. Keep it locked up? What's it to you? Last night, an unauthorized purchase was made. It's got your name written all over it. I don't know anything about that. Look, we could bring you in right now for failure to adequately safeguard your fee card. Or you can help us out with this little matter. Okay, okay. I keep it in my cabinet, but the lock keeps jamming. Vargas, let him up. He really needs to finish this workout. So how's that P-card case coming along? Uh, look at these reconciliation logs, Chief. You mean lack of reconciliation logs? They haven't been filled out in over six months. No signatures, no receipts, no way to verify if these purchases are even valid. Plus, most of these are older than 60 days old. We wouldn't be able to dispute these charges to think if we wanted to at this point. Is there anything that we can use? Nothing yet, Chief. We've been out for 15 hours and we got nothing. Vargas, take a break. Wow, I'm going to need something more than these blank reconciliation logs to prosecute this guy. I need to bring him to justice. Eddie Hale is correct. We really need to catch him with his hand in the cookie jar. Wait, wait, look at this. There's a bunch of purchases for $999 each month at hot comic book stores. This guy is trying to circumvent the P-code by breaking up his purchases. Well, why don't you fly on over to Hawks and see if you can catch him with his hand in the cookie jar? Great idea. Mr. Hawk? Detective O'Brien, I have a couple quick questions for you. Whoa, this bird's got flat! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going in such a hurry? Hey, I thought you were after me about my government license. Maybe we can make a deal. Is the name Rod Fowler ring a bell? Nah, never heard of him. Bring him in, O'Brien. What? Oh, all right, all right, 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 right. There's this guy that comes in uh, with a government P card. The name on the card is Rod Fowler, right? But there's something foul about the situation, if you know what I mean. Uh, fancies himself a real Hawaiian cowboy, if you would. Buys stuff online, picks it up every Monday from the store. Like clockwork. You know, they don't teach about this stuff in the academy. Yeah, I never thought I'd see a case with such poor physical controls over procurement cards. Lack of financial reconciliation, no supervisory review, and no receipts. Yeah, and look at where I got them. Unauthorized purchases. Look who just rode into town. Let's move. Wait till he comes out with the box. Todd Parker, you're under arrest for theft of government property. I'm just buying comments on my son. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Chill out. I've got a deal for you. This is my final offer. You agree to the following terms, then the case will be dismissed and you must testify against Todd Parker. Do you agree to these terms? I agree to properly secure my procurement card when not in use. 
I agree to maintain receipts and any other documents for all purchases I make with my procurement card. I agree to complete my reconciliation log every month and I agree to have my supervisor review my reconciliation log at all times. Do we have a deal? I'd recommend that you accept these terms. You could be severely disciplined for what you've allegedly done. My client accepts the plea agreement. Wise choice. You know, they don't teach about this stuff in the academy. We were able to trace the card used back to a date. You're right. <laughs> 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 I don't want to buy stuff online.